Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Battlefield HQ, and supposedly the maps for Battlefield 1 have leaked out onto the interwebs. You can find this source in the description below, of course, if you want to check it out for yourself. But we're going to go over the list right now, because it is quite extensive. And it gives us a very good idea of what we can expect from Battlefield 1. So, first of all, there's going to be a total of 9 maps, supposedly, at launch. We'll see if this ends up being true, of course. Right now, you can count this as a rumor, but the locations on the list are pretty good, and the names of the maps sound pretty convincing, so we're going to go over them. So we have, first of all, a CGO Offensive. I don't know if I pronounced that properly, but this is going to be an Italian Alps map as seen here. Probably one of the more open maps and vehicular-centric maps as well. Now we move on to the Gaza Sands. It's going to be a desert map, Middle Eastern-type setting, where the Ottoman Empire fought. Then we have the Siege of Damascus, most likely again a desert, but urban map focused around the Ottoman Empire's defense of Damascus in October of 1918. The Australian Mounted Division were also very much involved in this fight, so I would expect some mounted troops in there. Then we have a map just dubbed Stalemate. This could be dedicated to Flanders Field, where the French fought, but then again, I'm 100% speculating on that. It was a huge stalemate and a big part of World War I, so I would expect this type of map to end up in Battlefield 1. You saw the French, Belgian, British, and American armies facing off against Germany. Then we have the ANZAC Cove. We may have actually seen a glimpse of it right here, where ships are fighting alongside the coastline. The battle took place on a sea route to the Russian Empire. Now this one sounds cool. It's called Garden Twilight. I'm not too sure where this one would be at in the world, but it's likely going to be at nighttime and take place in a more forested region. And mentioning forested regions, we have Argon Shade. This one is likely going to be a big forest map that we saw in the trailer. The Forest of Argonne was a long strip of rocky mountain and wild woodland in the northeastern region of France. Then we have Operation Castlewick. Now, I'm not too sure what this one could indicate, but it might be a map named after a single player mission or even a high value target. And then we have Scorched Earth. Now, that doesn't sound good, so expect lots of fire everywhere. This could be one of those trench based maps where you will probably see. A lot of flamethrower action. That's totally my guess, of course, but we will see what happens there. Now, expect the maps to be rounded out about 10 maps, probably within the first month of the game's life, because we will be seeing free map drops immediately after Battlefield 1's release, much like Star Wars Battlefront did with the Battle of Jakku. So that's something I would expect for Battlefield 1. It's so great to hear that they're going to be releasing free map drops that should bring interest into whatever season pass they will be doing. Uh, so guys, stay tuned for more information about that, of course. Cannot wait to reveal uh, all of the maps officially. Now, again, count this as a rumor, but these locations do align well with what we saw in the trailer, which is good news. So even if they don't pan out to be 100% accurate, I would definitely expect a lot of these locations to end up in the multiplayer game for Battlefield 1. But guys, stay tuned here to Battlefield HQ as we approach the release of Battlefield 1. I know if you're like me, you are insanely excited. Look forward to more, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the Battlefield.